friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl, I love decorating my home with style, on a budget, and I love to try to make it look a lot more expensive than it really is. So if you love home decor and you love budget decorating, then this is the channel for you. If you have not already subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and become a member of the iStyle My Style family. So guys, today's video will kick off my preview into fall video series. And I know you're saying, Cheryl, what are you talking about? We're in the middle of summer. It's not time for fall. Uh, but guys, I recently completed my summer decorating. And if you don't know, YouTube moves fast. Fast, 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 fast. So we are almost to the end of July. I can't believe it but I'm going to start my fall, actual fall decorating at the beginning of August. So right now I'm in the process of planning, planning how I want my home to look for fall. So that's why I'm starting this preview into fall series so I can share with you my ideas and how I am going to be decorating my home for fall. I know a lot of us tend to decorate in the same way, and if you're like me, I like to change things up, but I like to do it on the budget. So that is what we are doing here today in our, in our preview to fall series. Today, we are going to be focusing on florals. You guys know I love to create these big, over-the-top floral arrangements, and fall, we're going big. Yeah, we are going big for fall. So I told you guys I wanted to create a moody fall vibe in my home this fall and we're going to do that using what we already have. So I created a moody fall vibe last year. We did that by bringing in the brass and the gold to bring that warmth into our home for fall. Um, I think a year previous to that or two years previous to that, to that I did a falling into fall series which was jewel toned. So we have the elements that I need to create my fall look this year. And this year the fall look is going to be like moody, vintage, mixed with a little cottage core. <laughs> you know, cottage core is the new trend, or so they say. And what I am loving about that trend is not so much the decor side as the florals. I love the look and the vibe of those florals and I want to take that feeling and recreate it in my home for fall. So we are going to be doing that. So yeah, my theme for fall is like a moody, vintage, cottage core, <laughs> if you want to call it that theme. And Again, we're going to be using florals that I already have. As you saw in the montage, I pulled out all of my colored florals that we are going to be using. So let me just show you a little bit of that. All right, so here are the florals we are going to be using for fall. We are going, of course, with my black and white. We are going to throw in a little pop of pink, some gray, some blue, navy, we have these maple stems that we picked up last year from a floral. I just love this mauve burgundy color. These mauve burgundy roses that came from Walmart. Look how pretty these are. Three dollars, you can't beat that. These also came from Walmart. Look at how pretty this is. So, so pretty. Um, this was, how much were you? Um, it doesn't say, but I will put up the price here. Can you see where I'm going with this? Look how pretty these are going to be, oh, and I can't wait to get started. So I also pulled out some vases. This one was a thrift find. It was green. I painted it black. I'm debating on whether or not to paint it black again or gold. I brought out these two. These were vases we already had. We used these in our Moody Fall Vibe 
in the jewel tones a few years ago so i brought these out i thought these would be perfect and as you can see we have a lot of really pretty jewel tone florals that we're going to mix with black black is my accent color you guys know that i will never deviate from black I know a lot of you is like, Cheryl, it's too much black. No, it's not too much black for me. I love black. It will always be featured in my home. But this year for fall, we're adding a little bit of color. So I thought today I would take you along with me. I've showed you the florals that we're working with, but to create my big statement pieces, I'm on the hunt for a larger vase. I do have some vases that I pulled out that I showed you, but I want something a, a little bit bigger. So that is what we're gonna do today. I am going to take you and we are going to go on a little adventure. So if you wanna see where we end up and what we pick up, make sure you keep watching. Testing. All right, I'm going to take you with me System on a little field trip. How about that? It is a beautiful sunny day today. So, so nice. The perfect day to go thrifting Stop is going to be Ross dressed for less. Then we have Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby is down there. So, yeah, we're just going to go see what we can find. does have these faces that are large. This one would match our color scheme. That's $14.99. But I don't know. I don't think it's quite big enough. And we have this one. But it's the wrong color. Um, it's also $14.99. But I think with a good can of spray paint this might work so we'll put it in the cart for now all right ross was a bus so now we're going to make our way over to kirkland's and then to hobby lobby all right off to kirkland's looks like they have some clearance outside Like these black and white cushions. These would be good on my deck. My chairs. Oh, 
over to Hobby Lobby. Do have some more fall wreaths out. Yeah. All right, let's check out. All right, we got all three of these for less than $50. So it was $39.65. We can use these decorating for summer next year. On top, let me. They have 75% off, so hopefully we can find something. Alright, so we're in the spring shop. I wanted to see what they might have over here.
so they're not buying what I'm looking for here, so I'm just gonna pick up these and we'll make our way to the thrift store. fall florals out already and they do have these I see a lot of the youtubers that do the farmhouse style pick this up um, how much are you a little tag escapes me it's $6.99 at 40% off this might be cute in our arrangement. Um, but I don't think it goes with our, our look. We have these. Those are pretty, but I think I have something similar to that already. We did not find what we were looking for in Hobby Lobby, nor in Kirkland, so now we're going to go off through the thrift store and hopefully we can find uh, a vase that we can use and if it's not the right color. Spray paint is always our handy dandy best friend, so let's go see what we can find. This 
arrangement. It's really pretty too with these florals, but not in the color that I'm going for. But it's big. It's $14.99. It's pretty. Have some really nice baskets. Price isn't bad. I like these two go together. Be really good for storage. But I don't need them, so I'm not gonna pick them up. I also have some really neat lamps. Like this lamp if I paint it black. It's a really good price statement piece for sure. So I found this vase that's like that one that's $8.99. This one is $3.99. So more within budget, so I think I'm going to pick this one up instead. Alright, there was quite a few things at the Goodwill. Those baskets were really nice. I had picked up two baskets to, I was thinking maybe I would do like some type of floral arrangement in them. But I'm like, ah, oh, no, that's not the look I'm going for. And then I found two vases that I think will do the job. Um, a little spray paint, I think they'll be perfect. So now on back to the house and I'll show you what I picked up. All right guys, we're back from our little excursion and that was so much fun. I hope you enjoy my taking you along with me. Just taking you around the store, sharing with you my thoughts, just seeing what's out. So as you saw, we didn't find a lot. Although, I did find those really cool chair cushions that were 75% off at, at Kirkland's. Uh, one was $49.95 or $99. I was able to pick up all three of those for like $39. $39. And I know they're going, and I know, I don't know why I can't talk today. I know they are going to look perfect next summer on my deck. So, that was a great find. We didn't find a lot at Ross. Um, I showed you that one vase and I considered getting it, but it wasn't really the vibe I was going for. So I didn't want to spend $14.99 on that. Um, we went over to Hobby Lobby. We didn't really find a lot of things there either. They really did though have some pretty fall florals. Um, so, and they're on sale right now at 40% off. We did pick up one and I will get it. This is the only thing, oops, this is the only thing that we picked up from Hobby Lobby, but look how pretty these are. So this is not your traditional fall color, but it's gonna work perfect in what I have planned for fall. Guys, again, I think you're really going to love it. So if you're looking for some fall inspiration and you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming uploads. So today is a first in a series of videos that I will be creating for fall. It's my preview to fall videos. So I will share with you my thoughts, what I'm thinking for fall, um, I might take you out shopping with me. We're not going to do a lot of shopping because mostly we're using what we have. But during my brainstorming, if I come up with something that I don't already have, I will go out and see if I can thrift it like we did today. And speaking of thrift today, we didn't find a lot at the thrift store, but I did find this. Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. This, I think it's going to be perfect for fall. Look at these colors. So my colors for fall are going to be my standard black and white. You know I cannot deviate from black and white, but I am going to throw in hints of burgundy. And if you remember, I decorated with burgundy last year for fall. So we already have some of those as well. Again, using what, we're ha using what we have, but we also 
are going to bring in a few more affordable things like this. So this was $9.99 from the thrift store. I don't really like the basket. The basket is not my color. And so I'm thinking, should I paint the basket black? And can you see it styled here on my console table? Can you see that for fall? If this was black, how that would look? Or should I skip the basket idea altogether and just take the florals out and use them in a different way? So leave me a comment down below, basket or no basket? Right now I'm leaning toward no basket and I wanna use a really pretty vase to create a really pretty floral arrangement using these florals. So I still need to clean this up, but I did wanna show it to you. Look how pretty this is. Let's see if we can get a, thumb, a thumbnail. Perfect for fall. So we got that. We also got These two vases, you're moving around, so sorry. These two vases, I love the shape of these, not so much the color. Um, looks like this was originally at someone's yard sale, it didn't sell, so they took it to Goodwill, and I was able to pick it up for $3.99, so I got this one, and this one was $2.99. So, I could leave them this color, because. They are sort of a burgundy red, but I'm not. I'm going to paint these black, because again, we're going for a moody fall vibe, and I think these would look good, perfect in black, or maybe gold. I haven't made up my mind yet, but this is what we picked up. So, not a lot today. We spent $20 at the Goodwill, and if you count the florals from Hobby Lobby, that was $28. So, yeah, I think that, that's not bad. Um, and look, if we put this vase in its black with these pink, I don't know, these lilacs, daffodils, I don't know what these are, but these will look so, so pretty in a black vase. Again, we're going for a moody fall vibe. vibe. So I'm using mauves and plums and deep purples and burgundy red and oh, I can't wait. So. I just wanted to show you a little bit about what I am thinking for fall. And let me just show you some of the florals. Look at that. And then if we added in some of our, whoops, some of our burgundy colored roses. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. And it's not that easy. All right. So if we put this in here, look at these colors. Hold on. All right, I need it two hands. So let me just give you a quick little tutorial here of what I'm thinking. So again, our floral colors are gonna be like these mauvey, pinky tones, these deep burgundy with the roses, this maroon color, and these really pretty maple stems. So again, we're going for a moody vibe. So just to give you a quick example, we could use these along with these florals from Walmart. And I'm not taking the tags off just yet, so pretend like you don't see those. So we're gonna use those and let's bring in some black. No, I love black. So let's bring in um, this one. So we have our black roses, or I don't know, panties, whatever these may be. And this vase is small, that's why I need it to find a new vase. So let's use this as our base. And then let's start layering in, layering in our other florals. So this face again is so small. Stick this in like so. And we'll make turn that stuff so you can see it a little better. So you can see this in the middle. I 
want it to hang over and just be wild. So we have that as our base. And then we're going to add in this color. Again, really pretty. It ties in with our mauve color. So, so pretty. Look how, look how pretty that is looking. So then I also want to add in some of these blue florals. This also came from Walmart. I wonder if I could just stick this whole bundle in. Let me try that. Eventually I'm gonna have to cut this. But let's spread it around. and see how we like it. So we have our blacks. I think this one is a little too vibrant for me. So I'm gonna take it out. I can always stick it back on later. So I'm going more uh, for more moody tones. So then we can stick in our roses, like so. Look at that, look how that's coming together. And this is like just an impromptu arrangement. And let's say maybe we wanna add in a little more red to our arrangement to give it a moodier vibe. And let's say, this. This came from Amazon. I don't know exactly what this is, but no, I don't like that. We'll take that out. And I don't know, maybe take this out too. Floral assembly is a process. It's trial and error. But I do love these. So I'm thinking maybe another one of these on the opposite side. But this is the look I'm going for. So let me give you a closer look. Oh, and we also have these grapes. Remember these? These I also had in my um, Falling for Fall video. That was two years ago. I don't know if you guys remember that. But yeah, these are the colors I am going for for fall. So let me take these in the entryway and show you, get this one to stay in there, how this looks. All right, so again, we're going for the moody vibe. So I brought in my black Tom Ford book along with another black coffee table book. And here is our beautiful fall floral and this is how it looks. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Let me give you a closer look. pretty that is. Look how it just pops off of our black wall. Now this is why I was looking for a larger vase because this is too small. I want to be this to be a big statement on this black wall but look how pretty that is going to be for fall. So these are my colors. This is the inspiration. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. 
Guys, if you have enjoyed today's video content so far, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And again, if you have not yet subscribed and you're looking for some fall decorating inspiration, this is going to be the channel for you. Again, we are going for a moody fall vibe. We're mixing in a little modern, a little vintage, a little cottage. Yeah, I, I love it and I hope you do as well. Again, we don't always have to jump on the trend, but I thought it would be fun to do so just to give you an idea of how you can incorporate trends into your own home, but still let it have a modern and cohesive look if that is your style. And you don't have to use these colors. You can use your own colors to get the look that you want for fall, but these are the colors that I will be using for fall and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love this little floral here. And again, it came from Walmart. So, so pretty. This whole arrangement is pretty to me. So I hope you like it as much as I do. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. So when I am looking at my florals, I want them to do double duty. Again, this is another tip. Make sure you pick up things that you can use for more than just one season. So I want to do a moody fall vibe here in my home, but guess what? I'll let you in on a little secret. It's going to carry over into Christmas and I can't wait. I'm so excited. If you're interested to see how it's going to turn out too, make sure you subscribe. It's going to be epic. This decorating season, epic. All right, guys. So yes, those are my colors for fall. That's what we're going to be working with. That's my inspiration. I am loving the vibe. Guys know I love a good moody fall vibe. So that's what we're going to be bringing into my home for fall using these colors. So again, if you're looking for some fall decorating inspiration, this will be part one of uh, I don't know how many part series because I don't know how, how long it's gonna take me to put together. Again, I know it's a little early for fall, but this is just to get your creative juices flowing, give you some ideas to think about for your own upcoming fall decorating. So if you enjoyed today's video, again, please make sure to give it a big, big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about our fall floral. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. I am absolutely in love with it. And I hope you are as well. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And with that, my friends, that's all I have for you today. So let's take one last look at our very pretty floral arrangement. And I hope to see you in the next one. Remember, subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming video in this pre-fall series. Bye, guys.